Hi guys! Today's manicure is inspired by our not so lovely spring weather. As the saying goes, April showers bring May flowers. To see how I recreated these raindrops into a manicure, keep on watching. To start off with, you want to use a good base coat. I have been loving this one by Rainbow Honey and just doing a thin coat on each nail. Then you can do any color on your nails that you want. I like the way this looks with either a metallic, a holographic, or a dark cream color. This color that I chose to use today is called Rage by Orly. It's a really pretty pink, bronzy, gold color. It took me two coats to get it nice and opaque. Next, I'm gonna add a matte top coat. This one is Mad About You by Essie. I think this helps with having the raindrops kind of stand out, but it's not necessary if you don't want to do this coat. To add some texture, I'm going to be using a bobby pin and stretching it out to use it as a dotting tool. Then I'm gonna be taking a small bit of Rage, which is the nail polish color, and dotting that onto my nails. This just gives it a little bit more texture and adds a little bit of dimension to your raindrops. While that's drying, I'm gonna be taking my Julep Clean Slate Polish Corrector Pen and cleaning up the edges of my nails. Finding the right top coat to act as raindrops is a little bit like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You don't want something too thick, like this polish, which is Formula X by Sephora, which is just too thick and a little bit stringy. And you don't want something too thin, like this one by Rainbow Honey, which is just really watery, and if you use it, it'll just spread out and not stay in perfect drops. The perfect top coat for this manicure out of my collection, I chose the Jula Freedom Polymer Top Coat. It's not too thick and it's not too thin and it will stay in nice raindrops. Then I'm just taking my brush that comes with the polish and dabbing it on in different shapes and sizes in kind of an abstract pattern because raindrops are abstract. Then you want to remember you don't want to add another top coat to this because it'll just smooth it out. I love the way it looks and it reminds me of this season so well. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye!